Hello everybody and today I'm going to review the Frights Camera Action Claudia Wolf Hi. and Honey Swamp. Hi. So huh. I don't know which one to start with. I don't think I'll start with Claudia. Okay, Claudia. So this is Claudia. This is she is Claudine's sister. Stop it. Stop it. So I'm gonna start with the box as always. So here it is in the movie CGI form. It says Claudia Wolf, daughter of the werewolf, and Hotly Wood and Frights Camera Action. And the black carpet in the background. And the DVD it's that comes out next carpet. year. No, it's called the black carpet. So here's she is in the back. It doesn't look black. It's only got some of the bio. Because they, they don't put the bios in anymore. And so she it says, is 19. age 19, monster parents, a werewolf, killer style, tribal prep. I love to mix graphic tribal prints with some scholarly flair because <laughs> Lundoom is fantastic, absolutely undead with fashion and literally, literary, literary history. Sorry. Literary. Both my brain and my wardrobe benefit to paraphrase spook fear. This is stuff as screens are made on. Screen. Whenever I th freaky flaw, whenever I think I chew pencils, pens, paper clips, gum, the corner of my eye coffin. One year, Claudine got me a manicure for my birthday, but on the way home from the nail salon, I got an idea for a story. Well, let's just say the little sis was not happy with what I chewed on that day. And it says, read here, full bio and diary inside. And the description for Fright Camera Action is, so it has been 400 years since the last vampire queen ran away rather than rule. Now Dracula has been declared their new heir to the vampire throne, but is she really the true queen or just a stand-in? The ghouls will have to exit stage fright and go on location to Lindum, New Orleans, and finally Hollywood to find the real star and the to see it. how the final scene ends. So, yeah. That's why it has all those crunches on it. I thought that was just there for decorations. Crunches. Like it's cracking. Mm. It's like it's cracking. Oh. Cracking. So, I don't know if can't recognize. They have little crunches on there. There. Damn, girl. Okay. Whoa, whoa. The wind is high. Yeah, it's got like bite marks on them. If you read the bio, yeah. then she was biting on her thing. Damn, and it's still alive. Well, that's what she comes her eye coffin, and she has a little screenplay and her pen, which are tied up. But it says Monster High, it doesn't say nothing else. Nothing else. It's just, and of course, the gross the black brush. I like the color ones better. This so here's Claudia, too. she's Nephra height. So, yeah, she's tall. Same, same model. I don't know why people don't like her, she's adorable. And pretty. I love her dress. She if lies. you take off the jacket, she looks fierce. Ah. Oh gosh. Pick it up. I did not even picture you got on. Just pick it up the pieces on the floor. So So she has glasses and blonde curly hair. And she has like three layers of makeup. Eyeshadow. Okay. And this is the first doll with a smile on it. Yeah, yeah. Here's her necklace here. I thought something would have gone in there. And she has this black and gold dress, which is like tribal print, like in her bio. She comes with a red jacket with black trimming, red knee high so stockings, and gold shoes, which I love. Okay. Oh, and her little journal here. She has the same pocket. Here's Honey Swamp, and of course, same thing except Honey Swamp is down the corner. In the back, it says age 115 in Swamp Monster years. Monster parents, the Honey Island Swamp Monster, killer style, I'm sweet disposition, polite manners, feminine in appearance, and sociable in company. In short, I epitomize the modern Southern ghoul. I'm also strong, independent, and capable. Don't you for don't you forget it. Freaky flaw, I'm a perfect perfectionist. I believe there is always time to do something the right way, and yes, 
I realize this can be tiresome for the monsters. And of course, as we're here, full body and diary inside. And description of the first camera. So there's my file or diary right there. She comes with a uh, camera, which is gray and black. Give me. And this. I read the name of this, but yeah, you know. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Rolling. Mm -hmm. Here she is with all her curly hair. I love her curly hair. Mm. Such tiny little <laughs> curls. It's like seafoam green and whatnot. Action. Mm -hmm. She has like, I want to say peach, pinkish, salmon, salmon colored hat. I think it's a headband. No. Yeah. Wait, no. Wait. It's like a hat headband. And here's her reptilian eyes, you know. She only has like one layer of eyeshadow. No, she has two. She has two. She has like metallic pink lipstick. And she has her little teeth. She has this cute pearl bracelet. And she has these cool designs on her arms and legs. Oh, sorry. Her dress, it's like kind of a lavender on top with a collar. And then the same color again. And then the same color here on the bottom. It was kind of like torn with monster flowers on it. They got evil faces on them. I don't know why. Hey, <laughs> that's me. And she has like this little black fur underneath. And she's so soft. So soft. And she has this salmon um, um, belt. 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 Yeah. And her shoes too. Her yeah. shoes are salmon too and they're like alligators. So yeah. Alligator. <laughs> <laughs> That has been the review on the first camera action dolls. We still don't have Alyssa Bat or, or Viperine Gorgon yet. We never found them. Yeah. Well, our dad found them. And the playset. And the two playsets either. We don't have them yet. No, you found one, but it was too much yeah. money. It was so, too much money. It was like, way. be on the lookout for those because I'll probably be getting them soon. So, yeah. Bye, Zs. Bye.